No spoilers, by the way. Vance, I don't know why you even brought up Attack on Titan in Twitch. You already know everyone in Twitch is just gonna spam spoilers now. Please don't, guys. Be nice. Be nice. Uh, I'm assuming Riley is the. Yeah, I have the names wrong here. Let me swap them out for you guys. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see this match. Off the bat, I can tell Riley's a good DD player because he's doing Gordo ledge traps, but that don't even matter. This guy just did the down B spike. He's going for it twice. Oh my god. I can't even tell if he wanted to hit him with the down B spike or if he was just like trying to get to the ledge. Either way, it worked perfectly. What is his name? Spit Rap? Spit Rap Bowser? Spit, no, yeah. I don't know if it's Do Spit it. Rap or Spit Trap. <laughs> the way it's spelled, it's Spit, spit Trap. Spit Trap is Spit Trap. Spit Trap's Bowser. Definitely legit already off the bat. <laughs> okay, let's see. The Riley evened up the stocks. And it's a heavy battle, so that means they're they're probably. They either both live forever or they both kill each other early. There's no, there's no way around it. Yeah. So far, though, I think the Gordos for DV are going to be extra good against Bowser just because he's so big that it's like more likely yeah. for him to get shield poked by it if he's not trying to um, just hit them back immediately. It's so funny watching two heavy characters fight because they're, they're both so big that the attacks that normally is with versus smaller characters, like, they just get hit by everything. It would be even funnier if they played on the small stage too. <laughs> it look, would be... look, how, look how small FD seems when both these characters are fighting each other. They're pretty much like one sixth of the stage. Yeah. A little bit of an exaggeration here, but Riley being DD, having a projectile against a character like Bowser, it's pretty good, honestly, just because you're able to zone him out. Ooh. But hey, man, Spit Trap is going to wait for the opportunity to get the forward tilt, and he will take care of the stock. Yep, good Bowser player check. Can you two frame consistently with F2? Yes? All right. You're one of the best Bowsers. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you beat Leon, it says a lot here. That's going to be an up throw to a neutral forwarder. Nice way to put on some pressure. Get stage yeah, control. Bowser low percent combos are very, very damaging as well. He actually ha has a lot of ways to rack up damage really quickly at low percent too, even outside of his throws. Like that Nair does a lot of damage. You get all the hits. That up B out of shield is really good. He has throw combos. It's a really, really crazy how much better Bowser is in this game compared to older titles. Yeah. Right now, though, Spit Trap looking really good. Riley trying to go for some mix ups, Oof. puts himself at the ledge, and he was at way too high percent. Again, I say this a lot, but in case you guys don't know, the higher percent you're at, the less invincibility you have when you grab the ledge. So you actually, when you're at high percent and you grab the ledge like that, you have to choose an option pretty quick. If your opponent recognizes that, they can just immediately hit you if you don't do anything. Yeah. And it looked like, you know, Spit Trap recognized that. Another angle down F2 kill at the ledge. Wait, is that Xerx? Hey, what's up, Xerx? And he yeah. is also in the chat. Say hi to my good friend to you guys. But also, um, I think it's one of those things too where if you, you said it earlier, Character like Bowser and DD, they're both big and heavy and huge hurt boxes, right? That two frame for it to, to be able to pull it off consistently, but to also just being able to get on a character like DD, because when he recovers, his head actually sticks out, which is a part of his hurt box, will definitely hold him back on terms of recovery. So it's good on Spit Trap to understand that, hey, I can actually challenge this DD recovery where some characters, you know, wouldn't necessarily have the best time. Yep. Yeah. So far, yeah, yeah, Spit Trap definitely, definitely knows his stuff with Bowser, for sure, for sure. And yeah, Riley's like not a bad DD player whatsoever, so he's a uh, really impressive right now. Nice snare into the flying slam, man. That's so good. They both have really good command grabs, but maybe Bowser's a little bit better just because of the range. Let's see. Right. I would like to, uh, like, nice gold traps, but yeah, I would love to see um, Riley try to use that uh, command grab two to catch uh, spit trap and shield, just to mix it up a little bit. Oh, oh. damn! Speaking of mix-ups, you got comboed into a jam. That move is so crazy. Like he didn't get the armored version because he didn't charge it long enough. But that move is mad underrated with DDD. especially. No, if you it, can... it, it... Oh, oh no! Oh, okay, <laughs> that was scary. Going, that was look, actually look. scary. 
Dude, look how safe that was on shield. <laughs> he blocked the jet hammer, still had time to spot dodge and then down smash. Yeah, good on spit trap to actually go for that adapt. Oh, that's close, that's close. Oh, you trying to break a shield? You trying to shield poke? Yeah, Riley's, he's like, he got that first stock. He, he's just trying to run with it right now as, as the place positive. What a good call out, seeing him jump out of the platform with the forward air. Great opportunity, Raleigh, like you said, right? He's trying to run with this lead as much as possible. So he had a good call out. And even then, that was good on Spit Trap to go for the get-up attack here, but Riley has already read that because he knew he went for it the last time. Forward air, oh. yep. Once again, Spit Trap kind of caught a little bit of a frame trap, unfortunately there. Just the way that Riley had, was looking to kind of read him getting up from the ledge. That's big damage. Ooh, missed the back air. Okay, Riley trying to get a three stock. He's upset about game one. <laughs> oh, under oh. the stage? No, oh, he's good, he's good, he's good. I thought, he would up, I thought he would hold down on the up B and spike him. Oh my God, this guy's going for the jet hammer disrespect. He doesn't even care that he got flying slammed at 130 because I'm I'm heavy, man. I don't care. Oh, we right, talked about right, earlier, right? Yeah, that, that hurt box for DDD is really huge. And even the fact that he rolled behind Bowser, that forward tilt still sticks out really nicely. Almost a good catch with the dash attack and the setup from mm. the Gordo. But Spitfire is not going to go down without a fight here. 121 to Riley's two stocks. That up there will finish it. And he yeah. puts on a point on the board, getting us to game three. Dude, even with good DI, he died to that. That was actually really, really hard adjustment on game two. <laughs> that was crazy. It was a lot of pressure, man. He did a really good job of just setting Gordos and then reacting to how Spitchup was going to get it from the ledge. Whether it was a get-up attack, whether it was a jump, or there was even a jump from a platform. I think uh, Riley kind of had a good understanding of what he needed to do with this character. And especially understanding how you can have a projectile against Bowser is pretty big. Yep, that was a really, really crazy uh, adaptation from Riley game two. Then again, though, game one, like, I think he, did he just get immediately down B spiked at, like, almost zero on his first stock? And it was just, like, <laughs> it was just, like, all downhill from me. All right, well, all game, right, game three here. Game three on Kalos. Probably the biggest stage that these characters are going to fight each other on <laughs> in this set right now. And this is still uh, best two out of three, too. So, winner of this, moving on in the tournament. Both of these guys would love to win. Especially someone after getting that upset on Leon in the Bowser deal. You, you want to keep the run going for sure. But uh, yeah, Riley, Riley's been playing really hot lately. So, let's see, you can go either way. Definitely like this counter pick for, uh, for Bowser. You can live a little bit longer and, oh, dang. I was going to say you can use the the side B on the platform to give him some earlier kills, but Riley doesn't care. <laughs> he got a dash attack kill at the ledge, taking the first stock again. I wonder if dash attack for DD hits even easier on Bowser just because of his size. Okay, he's the armor of the up B. Still though, even though he didn't die to that, uh, Spit Trap's timing to hit the F tilt Pretty consistent on DV is really good. I don't think he's missed it that many times. Nice. Got that command grab. It's a little bit better with DV too, because he can uh, be reverse it, unlike yeah. Bowser. This is a good lead for Riley. Comes back on the stage over the fire with the neutral air and the forward air confirmed afterwards. Sets up a Gordo. That's good too, because the way that Spit Trap can get off that platform, Riley is looking to call that out, just like he did the last time. That's a nice back air, because it gets him off the stage and he forces him for such a low recovery with that ankle. Yeah, yeah so far, man. Riley, solid adjustments right here. Especially applying the pressure with the Gordos at the ledge. Oh. That armor of the up smash to gain the back air, but there's the up smash punch from DDD taking the stock now. Big Trap, he wants to get this stock off before Riley can take too much of a lead. Kind of rough though, just because of how uh, heavy DD is. Again, I'm really liking his uh, use of the command grabs now. He's just been falling on top of a uh, Spit Trap shielding, gain that easy uh, inhale. Really been messing him up, and oh my goodness, the dash attacks are coming out. Riley. 
Paul messed back up. All DD's moves. I think the only move I haven't seen him use just yet is uh, down tilt and F tilt. <laughs> just, not like he needs it right now. Oh, he did F tilt as soon as I said this. <laughs> okay. All right. Back up the ledge. A little bit of yeah. pressure here. Okay, there's the F tilt again. All right. The hyper percent pretty active. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if Spear Trap has the comeback. Or is Riley gonna run away with this? Ooh. Already applying tons of pressure, especially at the ledge of these Gordos. Back air. Oh. Spitch up is such a tough spot right here. Now. 148. That dash deck has a good amount of active frame, so definitely would have called them up. What an opportunity to see what the Gordo is. Go for the inhale and finish off the game. Riley taking a 2 1 over Spit Trap. That was great, great stuff from Riley. Yeah, using that inhale, uh, Gordo too has a little bit more knockback as well, so. That was just a super good snipe at the end.